Hey guys, welcome to Home Sweet Homeschool. If you're new here, my name is Ashley and I'm a homeschooling mom to one. And in today's video, I'm going to give you a flip through of Entrepreneur Academy. Now, if you missed my last video, I shared the electives that we're using for this school year. And this book was featured on that uh, video. So if you see any other books on there that you would like to see flip throughs of, let me know because I'm doing this on an as requested basis. And someone asked to see the inside of this, so I thought I would share in case you're interested. So I actually picked up Entrepreneur Academy on Amazon. I'll link it down below if you'd like to go get a copy for your child. Now my son is in sixth grade and you may think it's a little immature for him, but he loves stuff like this and he finds this stuff so much fun. We've done a bunch of these Academy books in the past and I'm going to purchase more for this year. So I would say really ages from like six to 10 could probably benefit from some of this stuff. So let's dive in and see what's all inside of Entrepreneur Academy. So the first thing that you're going to find here are your sales tags and you're going to need those and you'll see those in the end where you actually use those. All right, now we have our table of contents. It's broken up into three different categories. You have your creative skills, your business skills, and your management skills. And at the very back, you have something called the marketplace. In each of the Academy of Books, it always has a welcome page. This one says, Welcome to Entrepreneur Academy. And then there's always a name tag. Now, I had someone ask, could I use this with more than one child? You certainly could. You just maybe want to not fill in these kind of things or make their own tags for them. So here we're going to start with creative ideas. So there's usually something to read with some bold words that you can kind of point out to your child and then there's an activity to do. So sometimes there's filling in things and sometimes it's just completing an activity. When you're finished, you're going to place a sticker here and you'll see those stickers in the back. So this is um, coming up with a new theme park based on your favorite movie, which sounds like so much fun. Then you have something called better ideas where you're improving ideas just like they improve the wheel. And then there's even an idea for taking it further than what's on this sheet. Now you have design ideas and it talks about how entrepreneurs may use design skills to make products for everyday things, such as clothes or jewelry or create jewelry. Nobody says jewelry. Jewelry. So you're creating a new look. Here's right place, right time. Testing an idea. So this is how you ask a focus group, carry out a sales test and do a survey. That sounds like a lot of fun too. Here's social entrepreneur and planning a garage sale. This is all about advertising. So they're learning some advertising words and then they get to make an advertisement. This talks about things that are trending. Then there's branding. And then here, because you're finished with creative skills, there is a little certificate that you can use for your child. Then you're gonna move on to your business skills. This is all about cost, selling price, and things to consider when you're setting prices. Profit and loss. What I love about this is they sneak in a little bit of math that your kids don't even realize they're doing math, but these are such important skills to have if you're gonna own your own business. Balancing money. How to stand out. So this is creating a window display. All about customer service, which so many people can benefit from. Making a pitch. And there's another taking it further. I've noticed those on a bunch of pages. Give and take. And then your certificate for, for completing the business skills graduate. Now we're all into management skills. So we're going to talk about the manager and you're identifying your management skills. Finding the right people, so how to interview them, what questions would you ask. All about team building. Using empathy. Setting goals. Making a plan. Staying positive. Finding solutions. How to succeed. getting started, and then you're a management skill graduate. 
Then at the very end, it'll say you've successfully completed all your tasks and you finished your course. And so then here's your, your pledge right here and they sign their name. Now here's the marketplace. In the marketplace, you're gonna find your Steps to Success poster, your Race to the Bank game, your press out price tags that were in the beginning of the book, and all of your stickers. So here's your instructions for the game, and they all come with a game. Here are the stickers that you need throughout the book. Here's the game counters and the cards and the dice if you need them. This is the poster that it's talking about. And then here's another punch out. So I hope that was helpful. I hope you enjoyed seeing the flip through of Entrepreneur Academy. Remember, if there's any other books that were in my electives video that you would like to see a flip through of, please let me know and I'll be glad to do it. I love to see the inside of books before I purchase them and flip throughs are so helpful to me. I'm gonna link below this book in case you wanna go purchase it yourself. Thank you so much for watching.